Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Money. Uh, folks. You know it's a speed slope. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Ryan up church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. Give me your fucking money! What's up, everybody? Jules. Hello, oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I was watching their streams. I turned it down. Are you cheating on my stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, if you, uh, I don't know how much longer they're going to last. If you want to, I think they're going to be on there for 20 more minutes. If I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I have missed you guys. Let me, let me I have been battling a nasty cold. And if I sound different, that's why. <laughs> and Jules has offered to join me tonight, and I have missed you guys a lot. Why am I signed down on my account? Um, she's. I just told her to get back in the fucking toaster. She doesn't listen to me. <laughs> oh, I hate being like I don't get sick very often, but it has been I think like two years since I've had a cold. Motherfucker. So this is absolutely fun, you know, to be sick at Christmas. So. Fun times. Fun times. Let's see if I can go to Twitch. Hold on. Ad blocker. Better work. I hate this thing. Mine doesn't do. Mine's not that bad. I don't know why everybody else has issues with it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Thank you, uh, Barry. Yeah, I've I've seen Cyrax. Um, it's... <laughs> It's hard for me to get into his content sometimes because it's so hard to look at. Anybody who's covered Cyrax knows. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Here we go. Let's see if this will work. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if this works. Okay. 
Let me know if you guys can hear this okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have some good ideas coming. That's gross, Pirate Hacker. <laughs> what is Pirate Hacker saying? Enough with you, dude. Oh, I can't even see. She deleted him. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Welcome to the dumpster fire. No, Shane ain't canceled, though, because he's... Sorry, I was just trying to... He is. People still watching. Is You're welcome, String Cheese. Soul food? Yeah. I love the names of people in your yeah. chat. String cheese. Yeah. Right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, feet, 69 cents a box. My kind of price. I love fucking Jiffy. I don't care. I love Jiffy. <sighs> You're still talking about peanut muffins, butter? Banana nut, mu muffins, brand muffins. Even their cakes are good. Jiffy's mm. awesome. And yeah. it's cheap. Let right me there. see. Uh, nightmare, no. I have zero native blood, nothing. Neither one of them do. No, Is they're so? Native American. Stop. <sighs> Tomatoes for mar marinara sauce. So sick of them tomato. saying that shit. What do, what do you want me to get them to say? Yeah, I grew okay, up on I, Um, yeah. It has to be something ask, that's like trolly, though. If Jiffy's you say anything shit. about Chris, I love that she will Chris. start talking about I that. Will extra. Yeah, it's good stuff. Only Southerners who were not taught to cook use Jiffy. Ah. <laughs> or it's just an easier way how to do it. Yeah. It's no different. It's the same ingredients. Yeah, you're right. It's just Jeff or Skippy. There is no Jiffy. But you know them. They're really terrible at reading. That'd be cool. Make some Indian tacos. Oh, it's not my Discord. Oh, so good. Oh my God, yeah. They don't even know what that is. You are the Southerner. I spent most <laughs> of my years of life in the South, and I've been taught how to cook. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh my oh. God. What's the name of that native restaurant? Native Roots. That was. I think oh, so. Oh my God. <laughs> She so the restaurant that they're talking about is an act. It is not an indigenous uh, restaurant. It was called Native Foods because it's all whole foods. There's no like white sugar or hydronated blah blah blah. It's just whole foods. It's it's healthy raw foods, and that's why it was called Native Foods. But they think that it was actual Native American foods, which is ridiculous because they got a chicken wrap with ranch. You can't you can't pause them because then it's not gonna go back. Oh, it's not. You are petty, oh, shabby, okay. aren't you? My bad. No, you have to leave them playing. You just have to talk over them. Okay. For using Jiffy. Thank you, Fairy Dust uh, Dairies. We love you, Toasty. Thank you. The Mad oh. Chatter. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on as usual. We all missed y'all. Thank you. I missed you guys too. I'm glad to have a voice back. <laughs> <laughs> I could have the best in the world and I choose Jiffy till this day. <laughs> if you ask her anything about Chris, her ex-husband, she will start talking oh, about him. Fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? They're awesome too. Yeah. Okay, that's your opinion. That's Thank you, isolationist. Opinion. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so when, on Twitch when they're live, I, you never can pause them because of that reason. Oh, okay. So it just skips that's ahead. Awesome. Well, that's oh, okay. Like me saying I think The Witcher sucks. You know, I think. Yeah. Oh, The Witcher's good. The Witcher blows. And then people okay. argue with you over it. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's one of the best games ever. What the hell are you talking about? It's just an opinion. The Witcher game is really good. It's fun. It's like, calm down. It's not that deep, bro. No, it's just an opinion. Um, yeah, we got sweet tea. It just yeah. says, are there traditions you can share with us that are different for you on Christmas? Due to being indigenous, um, I mean, oh my God, you must be I'm parties. not I a know, monolith, right? so every family does their own thing. Uh, we have a Christmas tree and do presents, just like everybody else does, my I guess. Walked on her own, so to the store to buy her. <clears throat> there you go, Melly. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wonderful. I'm so happy for you to go to France in January. That's cool. It's awesome. It's really cool.
You're gonna try to cook with me? Awesome. Nice. Oh, that's the best way how to make freaking uh Awesome. <laughs> Tosa, you can explain to them about me being in their chat because some people d don't get it. Guess, so they don't get the, the fact I'm trolling, but. Yeah, like 99.999% of the people in her Twitch chat is trolling her. Even the people that pretend to like her, like just not actually support her with money and At stuff, but like they're saying, just yes. commenting nice things to her. They're just trolling her. They're trying to get Sorry, her to talk. My chat is insane. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's all that it is. You guys are all, uh, you, you got, none of you are seen <clears> in my chat. Just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Jules will get a baby care tattoo and I'll get a Yoshi tattoo. Oh gosh. She's, about <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Jason, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Thanks, Jet. Wow. I appreciate the question. You guys are going to get married, too. No. She's jealous. <laughs> oh. Hilarious. Sorry, did you come here for same chat? I know, right? Chat. Maybe ask them if they're open to... Um, a thurple. Rev, you would get another girl tattoo than your wife? No, that's that's not. If that you're assuming that that meant I would, that's my first tattoo. Are you kidding me? No, I want my first tattoo to be C on here. <laughs> that's what I want my first tattoo to be. He's gonna there. cry like a baby when he gets a tattoo. Steve? What's Seif stand for? That means that that's fucking I don't even know. It's a great idea to get a tattoo as a wedding ring. Not even Mother Mary. I know, man. <laughs> what is Z for? Oh, somebody should ask them, is that C mean, cr mean Chris? <laughs> they don't hurt. No. No. I would say that it hurts on your fingers. It's like pure bone. Yeah. Right there. There's like no fat. I mean, Shanny's. Blank screen. Does she really think that I'm your girlfriend? For fuck's sake. Like, <laughs> she's, she's always accusing me of being everybody's wife and shit. It's so funny. Thank okay, you. Todd, I, I see how it is. You give 10 on mine, you give 20 on burnt toast. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you, Todd. Like I appreciate that. Yeah. S E E E. <laughs> yeah, on paper, that's what it would be. Thank <sighs> you very much. Oh. Ugh, I hate when he burps like that. Rev should get a shanty portrait. That's right. That would be cool. Thank you, Todd. Do you think you will win Lulz Cow of the Year? Oh. Maybe. By the way, Todd, I was I I I was kidding. It was a joke. <laughs> I was a joke. She's totally mad. Uh, Gavin was already named Gavin when we got him. You are. You are. That's correct. Oh, okay. And we just didn't. I guess I could do that. I didn't want to change his name. Oh, it's a good name. I did. I found Gavin. Gavin, 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 it's a boy. It's all good. Like I know the, I, I think I know who's spamming the N word. So, I mean, considering the names that they're choosing, yeah. which are all stock accounts, by the way, those are all clones. Oh, I love how they know how to spell. It's cute. Yeah. Gavin found Shani. That might be it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nick James. Just saying hi from hi. I'm at work. This coming Saturday is my three years on the job. I'm still wanting God to make me lose my job for like, being mean to her. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats it's on the like, job. Oh, baby. Poor little boy. <laughs> little timid boy boy. He was chubbed out. He was. He looked depressed. He did. He looked depressed. We took him home. We did. And he got undepressed. Yes. And he's a boy. Where did we find Gavin? At a pet smart. They yeah. were doing an adoption thing there. It's a good boy. <sighs> I know, right, Ponderous? 
I feel bad for the cats. For real. Oh, got the Christmas eyes, huh? No. So you adapted, not found. Well, I say <laughs> I found. Can you explain why I say I found Gavin? All right. It's because at the time, uh, Shani was playing a game called Red Dead Redemption 2. And there is a character in the game that's wandering in, what? I believe, what, I, I can't remember the exact town, but he's wandering in the town and he's constantly screaming for his friend Gavin. No. And no. Lost, and it's still nobody's found Gavin in the game to this day. They had that cat um, before that game was released. We saw the name. Try again, and Jason. Jenny literally took a picture of Gavin. Their sound up. Got him, adopted him. Yeah. And gave it to Trippy Commentaries because yeah. he was playing the game too, trying to find Gavin. And we said, we found Gavin. Yep, exactly. So how could we ever change his name? And why would we want to? Gavin is a beautiful name. Um, and it fits him for us. <laughs> he does. He's a godsend. He, God put him there. He's the best boy ever. Yeah. Tell me if that worked. He's a good boy. He's just perfect boy. He's cuddly. He's lovey. Mm -hmm. You love the game so much. Yeah, exactly. That's Is that why better? I say yeah. I find Gavin. Red Dead 2 is one of the best games ever made. Cool backstory. I know, right? That's the truth. It didn't go up? Oh. Shoot. My favorite character. You might have to turn it up on on the person who ever sang it has to turn up on their end Same. because Same. that sometimes Same. That, their streams are just low. Yeah, I have thing. mine all the way up. It, it must be their trash, stream. Tough ass bitch. Like it probably is their stream. Not you know what I mean. Their stream, like yeah. Shannon and Rebs. Yeah. Oh my God, that's from the Glastonbury Festival. Shout yeah, out thank you, Quasi. Um, Red Dead Two came out 2018. They've had that cat since 20. Yeah, maybe. They made a reference to that. I yeah. Glastonbury Festival. Has anyone heard of the old place in Colorado is pressing charges for trash in the condo? Um, I, I haven't heard anything, it, I, but it doesn't mean that something's not happening. It just, I haven't, I haven't heard it. Heard it. On Steam, yeah. Yeah, I can play that. Yeah. How old is Gat? He's like five, 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 um, six, five, six, or six. I think he's probably about six. Is that better six. on their end? Yeah. I asked how old Gavin was and he said he's six. Well, we've had watermelon a little longer than Gavin. A little bit, yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, I'll play Red Dead for you. Can you not? I could start a new game, I guess. It was Narnia or something, I guess. I thought they didn't have the PS5 sure my save file Hi, watermelon. anymore. Like, some people don't care about deleting their save files of games that are, like, hours long. Isn't that on PS5, though? Because That's how he was playing it. Watermelon. Or was it the Xbox? What you doing, pretty girls? What you doing, girls? Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. How how about let's play get a job? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a fun game to me. She is being a pretty girl. Yeah, she just sets herself in front of me. They may have it for a PC. Maybe. You'd love to see us play on the PS5 again. We're going to have to get a PS5. Yeah, I, no, why would we waste our money on a, yeah. a PS4? Yeah. Fuck PS5. Do Gavin and Watermelon snuggle together? Oh, yeah. They do. They do. They do. They Love our babies. Crime with, with a K? Yeah, I saw that. When they play. Yep. When they, you guys see them <laughs> I will definitely be reviewing that. Yep. For sure. Fun. They're babies. The best babies. They cut. I love you. If you came upstairs, you'd see them on the bed that snuggle. I know they do. Very cute. They're good babies. They claim that the PS5 was stolen in the motel. And that they don't have an Xbox either. So you've never seen Red Dead? Oh, it's a great game. Thought. It's a great game. I love that game. There is a lot of fun story in it though. <laughs> like you have to like story. Right. What what money? There's a lot of story. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't trust people who hate cats. There's something wrong with them. It's like, why do you hate cats? Well, I, don't I don't trust people who abuse kids. So get your babies. Little baby goat. I think they don't like cats because cats are emotionally honest. Sure. Hey, Jules, can you post a link like to your dogs. channel in the chat? Oh, yeah. Fuck, I can. When they're bothered by something. <laughs> Hold on. Do, 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 do. 
Thank okay. you with fire. I appreciate that. Yeah, Ew, Megan, don't eat cats. That's bad. What? You're welcome, Barry. Why are we eating cats? Bad. Anyway, we made the 12 hours. Okay. Yeah, new, new bitch. Made the 12 hours, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, too much. Okay, actually, so much for the mic, 24 hours. I'll probably fall asleep watching Mike. Yeah, and then I'll turn off the computer. And yeah. Done. So, peace, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I need to get some rest. Right, She's get a rest. Bye, babies. Bye. -bye. She needs to get a rest for what? <laughs> Sitting around all day. <sighs> she had a really hard day. Okay, please stop oh, yeah. picking on her. It's not nice. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're well, guys. a freaking bully. <laughs> I'm like, why do you have to bully her? She's trying her hardest. She works so hard sitting around oh. doing nothing. You know, I'm very excited to watch this first stream because it's honestly classic. It's amazing. It really is. It's a lot of rage. It's some of my best work. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this was one of the first streams she did. I believe this was Christmas Eve. Is that right? E or yes. Christmas yes. Eve, Eve? No, it was, it was Christmas Eve. Okay. Because she was supposed to go live Christmas Day, and she never did. Right. So this was the very beginning of the Christmas e-bagging fiasco. And uh, this was fun. The first, like, 50... This is the first 50 minutes of a very, very long stream. I think it was, like, 12 hours or 20 hours. And this was the first 50 minutes. And it's my favorite because she's screaming and yelling and saying the trolls are going to steal her medicine off her porch. And it's absolutely hilarious. And she's talking about she needs her meds. <laughs> so you guys let me know if you can hear this okay. Like how I animated yeah, that. Yeah, I realized there was like no sound, <laughs> bro. <laughs> What's up? So, like... I had an epiphany, you know. Epiphany. <laughs> and it's a very good epiphany. You know. Don't hurt yourself. Because I get a lot <laughs> of fucking hate. A lot. And I feel like I'm always in like this defense mode. But at the same time, I, I censor myself <laughs> she's from saying oh boy what i truly 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 want to say yeah like uh, all of the racisms <laughs> congratulations uh this fair and american vax lib thank you so much a fat rhino being watched by a sexy toast and a fat dinosaur from the short bus get him thank you so much i appreciate that I love how she says that. That, she's... that was highly PG compared to the shit that he puts in <laughs> my channel. <laughs> Thank you, Jet. I appreciate that. Sorry if that was ignorantly worded. I'm just so interested to hear. I'm just interested to hear about traditions and other families and cultures. I figured you celebrated Christmas. I mean, people pick up. I mean, people put pickles up in trees. Wow. Pickles and trees. That's actually a thing, like um, really? a pickle ornament or some shit. I don't know if it's real pickles, but I knew somebody who, uh, I, I forgot what the thing was. It's something about putting a pickle ornament in your tree or some shit. With fire, you do? I have never heard of that. Wow. I love pickles, but I've never thought about putting ornaments of pickles in my tree. I, I, I guess I don't know anything about that. But yeah, Jet, um, I always appreciate people asking questions. If there's anything else you want to know, I can't speak for other tribes and nations. I can speak for my my own. Um, but I'd be happy to answer questions if you have any more. Pickles. Like, is there like a whole section at Target now that sells like pickle ornaments? No, I just think it's like, I don't know. I, it's hard to explain because I don't really know because I don't do it. But like, I've seen it before. 
I've seen the they, they they have like a pickle ornament and they put it in their tree. I forgot what it meant, but it apparently means something. Katie says the first person to find the pickle on Xmas morning gets to open the first gift. I have never heard of that. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's that's a exactly German what it is. Tradition. I forgot. Ah, they say yeah, it's a that, German that, that tradition. definitely is a thing. It's okay. it's cool. It's a cool concept. I okay. Think. I support that. I support pickles. <laughs> Quasi Germans are weird. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. The common tale told of Christmas pickle, or I can't pronounce that, so there you go, is that it's an old word, old world tradition that started in Germany. Okay, got it. Cool. And I've been doing this for a long time, and I realize it's been G-Man telling me not to mention someone's name about a year ago. And I think that's when the plan started because he wasn't monitoring drag. He was monitoring us for drag. See, for like a whole year or more now, I have not said drag knot's name. I, is that true though? <laughs> no, no, that's definitely I not have true a because feeling that she has said his name before no she has she has said it and then she also rev that one in, infamous video of rev saying the n-word over and over again when they oh, were in the that's true yeah yeah busted nor have i really mentioned him or talked about him because he is my number one stalker he is the number <laughs> one reason why i have problems in my life oh okay He's a piece of shit. I mean. He thinks everything he's doing is for the lulls. It is very funny. But actually. he's manipulating my life so bad. <laughs> and I know he does it to other people by threatening them and telling people, oh, you can't listen to her and contacting people that know me. But at the same time, he does it in such a subtle <laughs> way. <laughs> That many people don't notice it who view him. <laughs> Hashtag drag's fault. And I don't view him. You don't view him. And how do you know what he says? Okay. Yeah, I the, used to view him. All the shit ninjas. You know... His number one goal, though, I will say, is he wants you to bow down to him. <laughs> um, oh, boy. And that's why he's doing what he's doing for me that he's been doing to me for years. Is I've never bowed down to him. <laughs> Nor will I. I mean, can you physically bow down to anyone? I rest my case. It's a Shanny Piffany. Oh my God, Ferret. Okay, she does start yelling in this, so if she gets too loud, let me know, okay? We have to coin the term, Shanny Piffany. Yeah, Adam. You beautiful, sexy woman. Yeah. I'm just going to say what I want to fucking say and not give a fuck. If I'm angry, I'm angry. If I'm passionate about something, I'm fucking passionate about something. <laughs> if you have diabetes, just say you have diabetes. No, let your legs fall off. I've been... <laughs> what? So no, let your legs fall off. There you go. There you go. Rip to her feet. So limiting myself in speech because of this stupid fucking guy. Because of all the fucking harassment that he's thrown at me by 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 bringing other people in to do his bidding. Bringing. Because he threatens them too. What's up, John Crimes? Good to see you. Hope you and your family's doing good. Yeah. Thank I told you. Her, I told her that drag makes me <clears throat> do stuff and she believes it, so. <laughs> so funny. Silly goose. Silly. He threatens them, too. And no, that's not all he's doing by playing <laughs> your videos. You don't understand. This dude has his own Discord server. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, guys. 
somebody with a social media platform. <gasps> He's evil. There's one where the, the the people he wants to see see. Okay. And then he has the one that's done in secret. I mean, okay, see, this, is, this is where she's confused. So Drag did a uh, fake Discord, and uh, we pretended to say really controversial shit in there. And she sent her, like, little minions to go in there, and they're dumb as fuck, and they believed it. So they still run off with this. Now, Drag had a main Discord, and he does not lo no longer use it. He actually left it, funny enough. Um... So that none of that's even true. So yeah, yeah, I remember that it was a fake Discord and people were trolling her, and she thinks it's real. <laughs> yep, big brain, Shani, you figured this out. It's so funny because, like, and I have this conversation all the time is that these some of these people think that we have this like secret Discord where we plan all this shit out, bruh. Half the time, I'm talking about my fucking cats. <laughs> That's true. And we're like, guys, you want to know what I ate today? Yeah. <laughs> like, dumb shit. Yeah. It's not nefarious. <laughs> the one where all this stuff is, is planned out. Because if you notice, he always says there's a story arc regarding my life, but it's just my life. There's no arcs to my life. Oh my god. That's like it's like <laughs> reality TV or she doesn't understand what he means by story arc. Lord have mercy. Okay. Quasi, I wish I had a lunchable. <laughs> or it, it it's like a show. And he's been doing this for a very long time. And I'm not the only one who's witness to this. This man is too. That's a really good witness. And you're going to have a bunch of people come to you and deny this, but they all work for him because they've been all doing the same thing for years. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for Drag to give me A, my paycheck, and my Christmas bonus. Right? Because this is some bullshit, dog. Wow. I better, I, I, we work for him? Apparently we do, but I, I, I haven't seen a fucking dime, bitch. I need my I money. Where's my paycheck? Wow. I'm calling Osha. No, he acts, she acts like drag has like our families in a basement. I know. <laughs> yeah, like she believes this crazy conspiracy. And I've heard G-Man say this too, but I, it's mostly Shane and Rev, where they think that somehow we're not actual friends, that he is blackmailing us or something. It's hilarious. It's like, okay, what? <laughs> Quasi. Dragons owes me six kilos of cookies. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Katie. Remember for four months? All y'all have jobs. Secret Discord. What the time? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Four years. And it's because he used to harass me on another show called Talking Shit Tuesday. I got that channel taken down, thank God. That's not true. That's not true. I think Drag said they had some copyright uh, issues, and that's what took the channel down. But by then, the two guys, the two main people who were doing it, weren't really interested in doing the show anymore anyway. So It was actually uh, JD got it taken down because he posted... Um, he pro he had private unlisted videos of the game he would pl was playing and it was not um, appropriate for YouTube, so it got taken uh, down because of that. Okay, yeah, all right. Thank you, isolationist. Um, but just let her think that she took it down. It's kind of funny. <laughs> That's right, Lubus. We are the same person. Lubus is here. Lubus, I I got Shani to say something really special for you. Oh. I got a screen answer. recorded. Where they would take Christians and harass the hell out of them and get into their personal life and expose their personal life. Just to get attention. Confirmed. 
And then they realized they could start making money off this. So people have <laughs> branched off throughout the years, making money off the harassment yep. of me. And you I can't make a, say- I made like $2 million this year. Really? I made a hundred million. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Fucking Lamborghini ass Bougie head bitch. bitch. That's right. I made a hundred million dollars. <laughs> hey, it's not harassment. Oh, you want to know the comment? Um, where's Lubus? Is Lubus still in here? Lubus, um, I got her to talk about how hot you are. <laughs> and um, then <clears throat> then Reb agreed that you're hot. And then I told her that I've seen your butt. And she was like, oh. And I said, yeah. Oh. Oop. So you're welcome. You'll be the next story <laughs> for her to tell. One day I was with Lubus. That's what she's going to say next. You're welcome, Lubis. Thank you, Jet Harper. I'm so rude. I did not ask what Christmas traditions Yoshis have. I am so, so sorry. Well, the thing is, Yoshis have a very um, laid back Christmas, actually. So <laughs> it, it involves a lot of eggs. Don't ask. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes they make fun of me. They dehumanize me. This man goes to every single person that is on my comments and contacts them. What? How is that not stalking? <laughs> How is that even possible? Yeah, no, I, I contacted her third generation cousins twice removed. I know, right? The other day, actually. <laughs> Not you, JT PM. He doesn't only expose everything I put there out on the internet because he actually hired someone to break into my house, ransack it, and tape it for everyone to see. Oh boy, we're going back to Don't this again. Don't lie. Oh boy. Don't lie about him. I can't believe she's regurgitating this nonsense again for like what the second year in a row girl. Oh, stop. She, she wants people to believe this. It's, it's hilarious. And I just like, girl. Yeah, you're right. We, we, we went into your apartment and was like, let's just throw shit everywhere. Let's plant some moles. Yeah. You know? That's exactly what we did. <laughs> there was shit in their apartment, like literal shit, cat shit. All over the walls that looked like it had been there for like a year. I don't know how that can be done by ransacking something, but okay. Don't lie. Don't lie. Thank you, Julian Childs. He watches you. He watches your chat to find new people to recruit to recruit them. He messaged me asking for to help you, to help troll you, and I refused. <laughs> yeah, ah, the guy with the fake white coat. Yes, him. <laughs> She's so mad about the coat. Did I say record my house? I didn't say my house was open to go in. I said my garage. That's not what you said. That is not true because she also said the keys are in there to get into the actual apartment. So. Yep. And she told people, take what you want. She said that. And when the cops showed up and the cops were shown the video of her telling people to go in there, guess what? Nobody got in trouble. Nobody. Not a single person was arrested or asked to leave between going into someone's garage and going in some someone's house and recording it after ransacking it and you know it's fucking ransacked because I was taping two days before and my house was clean <laughs> oh my god girl no you guys would walk around and you could hear metal empty soda cans that you were tripping over just to get to the bathroom. Like there was rotting food, rotting food in your refrigerator. Stop it. Stop it.
Okay. Yeah. And there was there was kitty litter in that um, bathroom. That was probably at least a year's worth of cat poo and pee that had been sitting there on the floor for a very long time. That was not something that was like tipped over that day. That was, I mean, you can speak on this, Jules, because you have cats. The amount of cat poo that was in that container was like, it was really bad. I will say that um, she has two cats and I have three. Um, I am, the reason also why they started probably peeing everywhere is because the litter box is full and cats won't won't do that um unless you know the litter box is dirty whatever um i'm kind of surprised they continued to go in there for that long because cats are really weird about that but either way that shit probably smelled so bad yeah i mean there were times before they moved out where um rev would be like oh you know i'm gonna shut this door because it smells like shit in here and it's like okay no wonder it, it probably that whole place probably smelled like swamp ass and and swamp cat ass. <laughs> seriously dead swamp ass <laughs> um yes someone said something someone said Shani wasn't happy when rev said he'd get a yoshi tattoo and you get a baby yeah She's so jealous of me, of me for some reason. She thinks that I want Rev, and I think it's hilarious. So I let her think that. It is pretty funny. I am. How much of this stream did you watch already? Of this stream? Yeah. About half of it. Did you get to the part when they talk about my OnlyFans? Um, I don't remember. Well, I just remember you, she was like. I screaming. feel like you would be. You would remember because it was very disturbing. Um, I don't know if it's in this one that you have right here, but it was very disturbing. <laughs> oh, I think that was yesterday, wasn't it? No, they didn't stream yesterday. It was Christmas Eve. It was the first stream. Oh, okay, it's hard to keep up because they're streaming so much. So if it's not in this one, then it's probably another one. Yeah, it's probably, no, it's probably in that 24-hour stream. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't love Rev? <laughs> oh, the clear. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's done horrible things to me. And he does things under disguises. He emails you threats. He gets in contact with anything he knows personally about you. He is a horrible person, and I've been silent about him because I was told you know to. When like, she, you know how she just said that? <laughs> it reminds me of the song. It's like, you better watch out. You better not, not cry. You better not fall. I'm telling you why. Dragnet's coming to steal your kids in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's like, I've been silent on this. Bitch, when? <laughs> when? When you were screaming the N-word at him? <laughs> okay. Hey, man, and I realized, why the fuck am I being silent with this guy and not saying his name and exposing the fuck out of him? Exposed. Go ahead, then. Yes, he does have a wife. I'll say that. He does have a wife. Shout out to Mrs. D. But he's so obsessed with me that their marriage had to go open so she could fuck <laughs> other men because <gasps> he's not pleasing her. Oh, girl, no. Yikes. That's, wow, if she only knew. Wow, okay. <laughs> so whatever Mrs. D I have asked this man several times to leave me alone I have asked this man several times to stop stalking me Mrs. D's getting it all over town apparently to stop using my videos
Yeah, she also sleeps with other women because he don't fucking go down on her because he's not a real fucking man. Ew. Period. Period. He wants to go and fucking talk shit about me every fucking day. I think for the Christmas spirit, I'm at least given one video where I talk shit about you. Mr. I'm the man. I heard you lost your job. I prophesied that a while ago. <laughs> oh, it happened. I love how she just makes shit up like this. Where where did she hear that? Ugh, it's crazy. Mm, no, she she knows everything. So everything totally she says knows. is true. Yep, totally. What's so funny is that she doesn't realize that Mrs. D is on a sock account in her chat, also trolling her, feeding her some of this ridiculous information. It's so hilarious to me. Like, she doesn't understand that we're all laughing at her. <laughs> Does she have pants? Uh, no. No. I think she has, like, leggings or something. I don't know. And if this is a stream, there is a stream. I think it might be uh, Christmas Eve that she had shorts on, but they were underwear. Ugh. And she flashes at the camera. Oh, God. My life flashed before my eyes. Same. Do you not see God yet? Or do, does God need to go further on your stupid ass, Alfred? <laughs> Alfred. Because he will. He will. Oh, the Lord Almighty will tear your kingdom down. I love this preacher, you know. Yeah. Didn't she say once she never said she was a prophet? Yeah, that's a good point. She did say that. But, you know, she forgets she lies. <laughs> now she's Trust a Trust me. And this is just the beginning of it. Just and we're going to see your kingdom Amen. crash to the ground. Because you could never, ever, ever, ever get to me. You act like me not wanting to talk to you. Is you getting to me and I'm afraid of you. No. No. It's because you are the most irritating, annoying, stupid motherfuckers I have ever seen in my entire life. Wow. Uh, Emma, thank you so much. It's so ironic that Shani brings up Drag's job when she lives in abject poverty because she won't even attempt to get a job or work in any way. Facts. Facts. Yep. Shani invited Drag and his wife for a swinger session at the Stanley Hotel. It's on video. Yeah, I remember that. And Drag was like, uh, nope. And then she got mad. And then that's when she ended up turning on Drag. So I think, in my opinion, I think that she is ultimately mad at Drag and his wife is because they would not have a like swinger situation with her and baby carrot next to her. That's what I think. Whatever made you think a woman like me would want to talk to someone like you? <laughs> Seriously, dude. Seriously, dude. Look at you. You have no respect for yourself. You going around, you're going around with no shirt off all the time. <laughs> Acting like you're better than everyone else. You ain't better than anyone. Oh, I love that. I love that people are so triggered. <laughs> like guys, folks out there, that's why he does it. To piss people off who for some reason get triggered that he's either wearing a shirt or not wearing a shirt or wearing a white coat or not wearing a white coat. He's, he's doing it to piss you off. And I think it's funny. Hey, what's up, Eric? Uh, nobody important. Thank you so much Remember for 16 months. Thank you. Hope you both had a great holiday. Thank you. Um, I did. I know I did. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rich coming for her, right? 
Yep. You ain't better than anyone. <laughs> you broke. You're oh. a joke. Oh. You're never going to be big on YouTube because all you do is talk about me. And all you're doing is bringing people to me. Um, how's that working for you, Shani? Last time I checked, you get uh, more, the people that review you get more views than you do. So, whoops. You have encouraged people to bullying. You have encouraged people to harassment. You have encouraged people to do awful things to me, to hate me. You have slandered me. You contacted every goddamn family member I have. That's not true. Every family member I have, you contacted. Uh, no, because I was around for that. Um, her parents showed up online. Nobody contacted them. Her mother and father showed up. They did a couple of videos. And then they started joining, our, her, her mother started joining people's panels. Answering people's questions, telling people, hey, you can email me or invite me on your panel if you want to hear, you know, me debunk Shani's lies. It was weird. I, I'm just going to be real. It was very strange. I was not expecting that. Nobody was expecting that. But that is a bold face lie. Nobody contacted her parents. Her parents actually was emailing, like her dad would email drag. Her mom was emailing drag. Her, her mom would email me. Her mom was emailing multiple other people. Her mom was joining multiple people's streams. So if she wants to be mad, she should be mad at her own family for wanting to debunk the slander because during that time, and even now, Shani is continuing to slander her family. So, no, she's not going to get away with that. And you broke my fucking heart because of it? You think I like you? How you fucking crazily inserted yourself in my fucking life? When I don't even fucking know you or would never want to know you because someone like you don't even deserve to be free. Oh. You need to be in fucking jail for everything you fucking do to people. I could have sworn she was going to say something else. Wow. Okay. And I know I'm not the only one you do this to. I know you. I'm not the only one you do this to. How you encourage people. To keep hurting others. Nah, nah, nah. What's my epiphany? What's my epiphany? That's your I job. I encourage people to start loving. <laughs> loving. I encourage people to start loving and not hating. And not bullying. And you trying to make me look like I'm Lucifer when all I'm doing is telling people to love them, to love others, to be good, to be kind. Was that my pills? I don't know. <laughs> Mail yet. Oh. Probably. This is another thing that stupid motherfucker has done. Who the fuck has this fucking time? Who the fuck? Fuck has this motherfucking time to do this shit. Look at this shit. Nick James, thank you so much. I believe Shani, Shani mad at herself and at Jason because she has no, no in her family. Her mom and dad stopped talking to her, went to the grave, not talking to her anymore. She has nothing and no one borrowed time. Yep, I think that's part of it. Um, her parents disowned her. Her siblings disowned her. Her extended family disowned her. None of them wanted anything to do with her. She was even told by her siblings, uh, don't like, don't come to the, the funeral. So she should be mad at herself. Every damn day. Every damn day. 
Look at what this stupid motherfucking does. He signs me up <laughs> to all these freaking tourist things. Oh, sure. Every day I get a package like this full of tourism shit. Guys, if you get junk mail, it's drag stalking you. Oh, no. I get junk mail every day. And every no, single time. No, that's me stalking you. I actually sent it to your house. You're welcome. <laughs> Jules is stalking me. She's sending me junk mail. Like, seriously, how many of y'all get that? And it's like, it has your name misspelled, or it's, you know, some weird name or no. current resident. It's, it's like my favorite. She goes, that. she goes, you even put the wrong name. I'm like, bitch, that's your name. The yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine moving to a town. Where there's things to go to, and they get junk mail from those places. Dun, dun, dun. Blame drag. Every fucking day. And he doesn't even use my name. <laughs> he doesn't even use my name. But instead, he uses um, my maiden name. Which is your name? your name shanny okay and shanny rip shanny and stuff he is so stalkerish i have never seen yeah. something in my entire life <laughs> and look at these stupid motherfuckers thinking this shit is funny this yeah, isn't fucking funny. funny it's funny it's hilarious it's called mail fraud. <laughs> mail fraud. And it's illegal, highly illegal. And you stupid motherfuckers are going to get caught because I'm speaking now. Then go to the cops. Then go go do that, Shani. Please go do that. <laughs> Shani all gang gang now, for real. I'm speaking now. <laughs> it's mail fraud. That is the most childish wave stalking I have ever seen. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, it's mail fraud when they sign up in my fucking name. It's mail fraud. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> you think it's not mail fraud when it's signed up in my fucking name? She used the address of the uncle's house when she transferred her benefits. That's why the mail comes to his house in her name. She did not have this problem at G-Man's house. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. I'm sh I absolutely believe that she made sure she was going to get what little EVT left that she gets. So yeah, once you do that, you're going to get all kinds of junk mail. It's ridiculous, but everybody gets it. Everybody gets junk mail. And I just right in the recycling bin. South side, Shani. <laughs> I'm just wondering, really. Don't hurt yourself. Look it, you can tell who the frauds are for those who defend in this type of actions. You see this? What's up with her hair? It's called not showering for several months. Yep. I know. He says he wants the best for me, then torments me in every way. Exactly. Exactly. I have blocked him on everything i could possibly block him on it's funny that she says this and yet like two three days later she goes live and says i've unblocked him and then sits there and talks to him in her chat so clearly she doesn't feel stalked he doesn't get the hint if i find out i'm talking to him I block him. I want nothing to do with this stupid motherfucker. And I want him to leave me alone. Seriously. Leave me the fuck alone. 
because I'm going to talk now. I'm not going to be silent anymore. I don't have your minion G-Man controlling me anymore. <laughs> I am going to be myself. Mad, angry, crazy. If I want to, if I want to be angry, fine. I know I'm irritable. Do you know why I'm irritable? It's because I've gone a little 48 hours without my Cymbalta. And if you look at the side effects that happen for withdrawals of Cymbalta, it's fucking irritation. It's irritability. So if you're disturbed by my irritability because I'm fucking withdrawing, I don't fucking care. She does this a lot for new people coming in. She constantly blames everything and anything for her bad behavior. So, yeah. I'm gonna be me. In other words, I'm gonna throw a temper tantrum like a two-year-old, but blame some medicine that I may or may not actually be taking. I'm gonna be me. Because I am a kind person, but there is a limit to a kind person, okay? There is a limit, okay? When you fuck with a kind person, beware, because they hold back their temper on purpose. And I ain't going to hold back anymore. How about that, motherfucker? Were you holding back when you were abusing your kids? You know, just just asking. You send your little stupid minions in here all the fucking time to harass my fucking ass every goddamn day. And I'm just, oh, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. I'm sick of calling people assholes, asshole. I really am. I got better things to do with my time, with my energy, with my life, than to deal with you and your stupid fucking assholes fucking harassing me day and day out for fucking years. Yeah, she has she has nothing better to do. Like, she doesn't have to get her kids back or anything. Yeah, so. just that thing that apparently isn't a thing. Yeah. They're in a boarding school, okay? Hello. LOL. LOL, LOL. Like, what is your obsession with me anyway? Have you ever thought maybe you'd get better attention from me if you were actually kind to me? Okay? Because listen, motherfucker. Listen, I'm motherfucker. <laughs> listen, you no, mother they're, on va- they're on vacation. I forgot. <sighs> CPS summer camp. Now at CPS Christmas camp. <laughs> Sponsored by Von Helton. <laughs> the same energy you give to me. Okay? I'm a hyper empath. So if you're coming to Hyper me- empath. I love this, like, wannabe... This, this voice that she puts on. Just, I love that. With some fucked up shit, I'm going to come to you with some fucked up shit. Yeah, drag. Yeah, know what I'm saying? For reals, though. Not the for reals, though. (laughs) Oh, Shani. Don't start none. Won't be none. You know what I mean, stupid motherfucker? Gang, gang. You probably don't fucking know. You've been fucking spoon fed your whole life by your fucking mommy who looks like the drag queen version of you. Oh, Shanny. Shanny. You do not want to go after Mama Drag. I mean, at least he can call his mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ring, ring. Hi, Mom. How are you doing today? Shanny. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. You know what else he can do? He can be like, hey, Mom, can you watch my kid for me so I can go on a date with Mrs. T? <laughs> I'm going to hell. It's okay. 
<laughs> Straight to fucking hell. Mm, sorry. I'm um, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. I would love to see Mama Drag just rip this shit out of her. Just like uh, she would she would um have a just uh, I would just I would just love to hear her just tear her apart with words. Mm, love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you put Bob Ross in drag and that's your mama, drag. I mean, Shani. <laughs> Shani, let's not talk about people's looks, okay? Like, right. <laughs> girly, like, I, mm, mm, <clears throat> mm. I love your haircut. It's so cute. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you you look like a morbidly obese Cynthia doll with that fucking haircut, dog. Ugh. Yep. Oh boy, I, whew, I was gonna say something bad, Shanny. You don't want to go there. I'm just saying. That's your mama. That's your mama. Get it out, girl. I need to get this out. I think it's so funny that she's talking about people's mothers. It's just like, (laughs) it's just so, it's just, what is you, what what are you going to do, Shani? Is your mom going to fight Drag's mom? Like, how is that going to (laughs) work? Shit. (laughs) What is she going to go, she's going to go roll on the grave or some shit? Like, what what do you, what do you want from her? Like, why are we talking about people's mothers? (laughs) Because if I were to sit here and talk about your mother, you would be pissed off. It's not. It's not right. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. How about that? How, about, how are we just leave the mothers alone? Okay. How They're gonna that? be clout mom fights, Bruh. One be fighting from heaven. She be fighting the demons. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sorry. Oh boy. I'd rather look like uh, Bob Ross than have an oil spill on my head. I'm just saying. It's back for three fucking years. Three years. And I don't know how long I'm going to live in this life. Probably not long. I say your feet are probably going to go first. That's just a prediction. Man, if I die and I didn't get to tell you off, I would regret that shit. I would regret that shit. And you know what? I don't even have to call you the N-word. I don't. I can oh. use my other words. Oh. Wow, Shani. Wow, Listen to her evolving. That's prog- progress. She has been an evolved racist now. She can use her other racist words, not just the N-word. Wow. So proud um, of you. What is that thing called? It's called a, a, what is that board called? Uh, uh, it serves an O. A Ouija board? Yeah, just imagine like Drag's mom using it to like cuss <laughs> out her mom. Oh, they're just like shit. fighting back and forth. Oh my god! That but instead, bad. they're actually agreeing that Shani's a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In my vocabulary, I can, because I know that's why you're truly wanting to do this. So there could be this big giant scandal. I pissed Shani off so much that she t- told me a derogatory term. Do you want to um turn slow mode on in the chat? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. No, you're good. And that's what you've been doing for years is pissing me off and then I fucking say fuck you asshole and then i'm the bad guy because i didn't say exactly what the fuck you did (laughs) oh fuck his mother she created that demonic piece of shit and she doesn't tell him as a christian woman to stop his fucking bullshit with me and she's also talked shit about me and i don't even know that woman and she's supposed to be my sister in christ fuck that woman 
you you like attacked her son and daughter-in-law and grandson I, how I did mean, you expect she was going to act i mean <laughs> <sighs> and then if you say fuck her mom we're all wrong we're all we're all wrong for saying it so <laughs> oh boy christmas rage gets me all in the feels what are you mm. quasi i said oh i didn't say l fight me outside oh what is it called catch me outside how about it that's how shandy sounds monkey and a yoshi fighting outside <laughs> kissing in a tree k-i-s-s-i-n-g i'm telling lubis you're cheating on him Shh. i said did i say o or l you said o that's why, That's why I said we do one. Stop gaslighting me. It's so rude. Quasi, he's lying. God. Okay. Anyway, sorry. There's an L word. You heard L? I said. I said O. Oh. I'm fighting every one of you. I'm. I'm fighting. We're all fighting oh, outside. Yossi, she, she's so violent. Yeah. <laughs> this one said, "Play the tape back." Fuck that woman. <laughs> that woman oh don't You're disrespect coming. grimace grimace is cute <laughs> oh my god now i have to rewind it back myself because i said i said oh i didn't say no fucking l i heard oh which is why i said a ouija board because you were like what's that board anyway oh, you mean with some attitude and i absolutely did shit to you bitch oh i did absolutely shit to you bitch i love this I mean, this is this is delicious. And you think it's okay as a Christian woman, a pastor's wife, to make fun of people? You she's know, not a, than she's not a pastor's wife. I don't know where she's getting this from. She keeps saying this, and, or she'll say that drag was called to be a pastor, and I'm like, when did that? When was that ever said? None of that is true. She's so weird. She still thinks that his cousin is his brother. And she will double down and triple down and won't and won't realize that she's wrong. Oh boy. Those trumping son of a bitches that killed your brothers and sisters, bitch. Oh, that God. killed your brothers and sisters, bitch. Bitch. Right. See, this is her using her other racist words. So proud of her. She she wanted to say the N word so bad this whole stream. I could feel mm -hmm. it. I could sense it. Like she she just wanted to be racist. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's the code switching. Mm-hmm. You know what my code switching is? I just break out into a British accent for no fucking reason. <laughs> Literally, it just happens. So, Brit Yoshi, mm -hmm. come to me with such animosity like that. Who the fuck do you think you are? A woman who has a loving family, a career, and is a successful, productive member of society, Shani. Who do you think you are? Lady, 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 huh, huh, huh. She's so mad. Oh my god, someone's name this. in the chat is Serious of Color. I just literally got what that meant. <laughs> serious Black, I love that reference. That's cute. Love that. Stupid red lips. Oh, and a fucking that kind of sounded racist cow. to me. Yeah, like, yeah, all, yeah. all of this is racist. This is all not Yep, she said she was going to use her other words. So. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. I want to hear the chat. This one. No, read the chat real quick. <clears throat> Your actual chat. I'm, I'm trying to, I want to, I want to show you something really quick. Okay. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Sorry. An actual successful YouTuber who still has her channel. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. And I've seen some of uh, like drag's mom does artwork and she's really talented. And so she sometimes will put stuff on her YouTube channel. She's really good. So, I mean, again, Shani, she not only has a career, but she has like a really good hobby and she's really talented. So I don't know what you're complaining about. Lady, 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 huh? 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 Coming around with big, stupid red lips huh? and a fucking stupid clown wig. Right. Okay. I think Bozo is better looking than your ass, bitch. I mean, at least her hair is clean, bitch. <laughs> I can say whatever I want and I can stick up for myself if I want to. Because that those couple of years I've not said your stupid ass name. You've done the worst things you could possibly ever do in my entire life to me. And I have done absolutely goddamn shit to you other than say. I, <laughs> I see it. I see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about people's wigs, bro. Bitch, that's not even a, a, a fucking wig for your race, bitch. What the fuck? I remember that stream. Oh, my gosh. That's when I first started watching her. She, for real, went to a nice restaurant, like a four-star, five-star restaurant with that on. Bro, the dress like, don't even fucking fit her. Yeah, that's not supposed to look like this. It's not no. supposed to look like that. You can that, Google this dress, actually. That part, that that's supposed to be on your waist, honey, not under yeah. your boobs. Um, but I, <laughs> I had to make sure everybody saw this. Just doing my duty as, right. you know, top troll investigator. Um, but yeah, I just want everybody to see that. Just leave it there for just a second so mm -hmm. everybody can get their little screenshots. Sure. I mean, I didn't have audio in this, um, but, you know, this whole video is just fantastic. You know, she looks <laughs> just so great. Look at that. So great. Thank you, Dragonfly. Just... Welcome to the dumpster fire. She's like... <laughs> yeah, you talking I think to me? Would... You fucking talking to me? Yeah, a series like. of color. Ew, I think it was the... Ru they went to Ruth's Chris or something. They went to a really, really expensive restaurant. Yep, they sure did. She's wearing that shit. Girl, take a seat. In fact, you're already seated take the whole couch okay the whole couch you choice words because you have always been a fucking asshole to me and i will meet you with your own stupid ass energy You can't even grow the fuck up, be a man, keep a job, and keep your wife satisfied in the bedroom. You can't even do that. You too focused on children's shit. You act like you're a great mind, but I don't see you talking about ideas. <laughs> Weak people talk about other fucking people, dude. Great minds talk about ideas, thoughts, concepts I, I shannon you were dumb as fuck your entire streams are all about doing this okay next things that actually have value go and buy someone's word line by line by line and then trying to evaluate everything they say is easy bitch oh really how come you failed at it over and over again yikes that's embarrassing can't even do it on your twitch whoops that's easy you want to know something about that video I just showed you, or that the thing? Hmm. That you know that video was filled, filmed um, actually today's date in 2019. Isn't that funny? Oh, that is crazy. So, 
This was Shani um, today, what, two, three years three, from now? Three yeah. years ago. Yeah. So, tee -hee. Yeah. Look how wow. Look at her now. Glow up. Glow down. <laughs> whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> um, that's falling off of a cliff. Glow cliff. Mm. <laughs> that's that eviction glow up, baby. <laughs> IQ of presidents. That's right. That's not challenging at all. It's some lazy, no good type of fucking woman ass shit. <clears throat> so, or, well, actually, little girl ass shit is yeah. what teenage. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Drag is a teenage girl. Oh, dang it. You have let the cat out of the bag. We have spilled his secret now, folks. Drag is actually a teenage girl. Damn it. I thought no one would ever figure it out, guys. Oh, damn it. I know. Scooby-Doo figured it out. Jet Harper, thank you so much. I think we all know she can't talk about motherhood. Ooh. No, she cannot. <laughs> girls like to do six trillion Dr. Peppers ago. <laughs> <laughs> several teeth ago as well when they're at the cafeteria so enjoy being a teenage ass girl because that's all you'll ever accomplish in your life because your life is about to crumble crumble down at the seams in the name of jesus christ yeah um... i got praying brothers and sisters Okay. No, you don't. I got praying brothers and sisters. Who do you got? You got yourself. Um, who what do you have, Shani? A uh, stinky couch and a baby carrot. Wow, you're so successful in life. I wish I had that. <laughs> I got a legion of angels, actually legions of angels protecting me. What do you got? I just got myself. I can't keep a job. I'm just going to do this lazy content where I can't be creative at all. I'm just going to put. It's like she's uh, talking to herself here. This is amazing. Some random comment. Eh, she's fat. She's stupid. Got him. That's not true. <laughs> Meh, meh, meh. And then I'm going to try to be a professional at a job. And then online, I'm going to go and be like, oh, I'm I'm drinking my ass off and, 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 and being with strippers. Woo! And then I'm going to mock Shani because she takes Delta 8 for pain meds and say that she's a drug addict. <laughs> While I'm drinking every goddamn night to strippers and pretending that I'm satisfied <laughs> while my wife is licking out the crotch of another woman. Damn. Boy, am I happy. <laughs> you are the most insecure, stupid motherfucker ever. Oh, I remember. It was maybe, what, six months to a year ago? She said she couldn't move her arms like that anymore. Yikes. Yeah. So funny. Like, all the things that she just said. All of the things. Stuff and things. Yep. Uh, Shani wishes that she could go to a strip club. Or fit um, in a doorway. Okay. Ever! Woo! Ever! I know, right, Finn Kirby? Mrs. D getting all the crotch licks. Man, I'm just saying. She is getting it all over town. You go, Miss D. So insecure. Proud of you. So insecure. I bet you're so angry right now because you're so insecure. He's shuddering with insecureness. I'm not insecure, though. I know who I am. <laughs> I know who I am. I like who I am. And gosh darn it, people like me. Oh my God, I can't believe she just said that. 
What's How up, Sam? That? We love you. What's up, Sam? Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's raging because she's out of mayo. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, maybe. Woo! Woo! Ooh. I finally got that off my chest. Thank God. <sighs> she saved her crinkle heart. Ah. Uh. Oh. Now we need to cure her camo cancer. That felt better. That feels so much better. Jason, you should try this shit out. Yeah, Jason. Get online and scream the N-word 50 times. Yeah, bro. It feels so good. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Get that fucking filthy dirt off my soul! And start with a shower. And uh, next, uh, clean under your nails. And next, go to the doctor. Oh, I'm sorry. Not that kind of cleaning. My bad. Woo! Damn, she's loud. Praise Jesus. Woo! <laughs> no. <laughs> Jason is hiding under the armoire with a cat. <laughs> Probably. Like, she's being loud as fuck right now. It's not Christian behavior. It's the spirit of Elijah behavior. I'm sorry. You can't understand my spirit. Most people don't. That's why I've been exiled. <laughs> and yes, she's about to gulp down a two liter of Pepsi. A two liter. That's what she's drinking in that coffee mug. Yeah. Oh, at least the beast you've held in for three years. I hope you feel good about her. Oh, I do. Oh. Oh. Every time she does that, it makes me, it makes my stomach like want to like, clench because I hate bad breath. It's one of my pet peeves. And you know that her breath has got to be like ass. And every time she goes, Ugh, it just, it freaks me out. I, I, I shudder a little inside. I'm getting PTSD from it. Tell me therapy when you get just back to the chat. <laughs> I feel so much better. Oh, I've been bullied so bad by that guy, and I've held my tongue so bad for him, and I'm not doing it anymore. His game is going to be caught. Oh, look at this threat. Don't cry, claim victimhood when you channel pop for TOS violation. I will welcome a TOS violation oh? just to get that shit off my chest because he's too much of an, a coward and too less of a man to take the shit that he brought to me for every fucking day for years. If he can't take that little punch in the face after all the shit he said about me, he's a fucking pussy. Hey, oh. Wow. Wow, talking a lot of shit, Channy. Mmm. Really? Okay. All right. Then the next time you scream the N-word, don't get mad when Twitch uh, gives you a seven-day ban. I'm just saying. Again, insecure. insecure <laughs> i'm gonna hurt you because i'm insecure i'm gonna flag your channel because i'm insecure <laughs> yeah that's right alibis and fit and kirby so there was a time who um i don't, I don't remember who it was that asked her but somebody asked her uh, what brand of toothpaste that she uses, she could not name a brand of toothpaste. Like, she didn't even know brands of toothpaste at all. 
So, yeah, that's how long it's been since she's brushed her teeth. So. <laughs> Every time Drag approaches you, that's what you should say to him. You're insecure. <laughs> What's my epiphany? Drag is insecure. Drag not Silvis is insecure. Drag not Silvis is insecure. Oh no. Drag not Silvis is insecure. Someone make a song with this. Hit Hannibal and Monty, make a song out of this. Um, excuse me, bitch, but I also make songs, okay? Not just my friends, Hannibal and Monty. But, Period. But but that does give me an idea. I forgot this part was in here. If I find a good beat, maybe I'll make a song. Shani? Drag not Silvis's. You'll regret it, though. I promise you that. Insecure. Drag not Silvis's insecure. Drag not Silvis's insecure. She is insecure that he is threatened by Shani. <laughs> What? You're insecure. That's like uh, that's uh, like uh, G Man's thing. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, none of these people have a beat. Honestly, I just want to know. So, um, I feel like the, like the best scientist throughout the whole fucking world, and, and you know everything, could not figure out how Shani is still this morbidly obese, being homeless. <laughs> You know what? I was thinking that too. Like I have actually asked people that I know who are doctors and nurses. And I'm like, how is it that somebody maintains, you know, 550 to 600 pounds she while being homeless? She said I she is not 550 today. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. She said, someone was like, yeah, you're more like 230. And she agreed. <laughs> uh, double that. Uh, triple that, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, but then there was a stream that they did, I think it was before Thanksgiving, and in that one day, she had eaten, like, 4,000 calories. And I'm like, well, that's how she's maintaining the weight. It's all empty calories, so I'm sure she's hungry all the time. But she would drink, like, an entire two-liter bottle of Mountain Dew. She was eating globs and globs of mayonnaise on multiple sandwiches she ate like a couple of bowls of cereal all the stuff that she was eating was super high in calories so she was probably eating you know three weeks worth of calories in one day like it was ridiculous the amount of calories and then um yesterday was it yesterday or earlier today I don't remember so many recently but she was just eating candy bar after candy bar after candy bar and then soda after soda. And then she drank that one drink today. That one drink was a thousand calories. And she gulped that down. It was a milkshake, a gingerbread milkshake or whatever it was. The, the other thing is, is I calories. think that Rev has definitely lost weight. And I think that she's just been eating all the food. Like when they were actually, you know, like really, really struggling. Yeah. I think she was eating all the food still because Rev did lose weight. If you compare to what he looked like. Totally agree. He, so maybe she should, you know, I mean, it wouldn't hurt her to lose weight, you know? Um, but, and then now the boys aren't there, so she doesn't have to worry about sharing, you know, with them, even though she probably didn't share with them to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Like, he's definitely looks a lot thinner than he did just a couple months ago. So I think that he's not eating very much at all. And she, apparent, she has not only maintained her weight, but there are certain parts of her arms, and I think at one point she does take her sweater off. Her arms are now bigger than they were six months ago. So there is no way that I'm ever believing that she is 230 pounds. That is bullshit. She has not been that weight since probably she was 20 years old. I didn't want to hear that. Uh, 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 you're insecure. Oh God! Uh, Ew. Anyway, <laughs> I agree, Katie. <laughs> he did look healthy. Uh, 
Oh, the same person who said I'm going to get a TOS violation, by the way, said you're letting these people hype you up while they're subbed to his YouTube channels. I don't know how you can't see that. Love out loud. Because I'm not a competitive fucking douchebag narcissist son of a bitch like he is. <laughs> That's why. That's why. She's a tall woman, isn't she? Yeah, and that's the other thing, is that she's like 5'10", yeah. 5'11". So for her to look this big at that tall, she's packing on some pounds. She tries to say that her and like either Rev's an inch taller or the same height as her, and I go, girl, be fucking for real. No. If I you want go them back... to stand next to each other so bad. Well, if you go back at the Dave and Buster's video, lots of people have it on their channel. I do, I think... Jules has it on her channel too. And they're sitting down on a booth together and she towers over him. She is very much taller than he is. Way taller. So, no. I think Reb is probably like 5'7", five, 5'5", five, five, something like that. She's 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, She's definitely taller than he is. <laughs> <laughs> and again to give you a reference that is a regular sized couch that's supposed to seat three people she takes up two thirds of it so that gives you a reference <laughs> jamming you're insecure exactly And the reason why he's dancing is he knows he's insecure, but he has to put on that, that image still because he's learned that because he probably got a lot of shit in the military. And that's probably he got why he got kicked out of the military <laughs> is he's a bitch. Um, Shani, you really want to go there. First of all, Drag did not get kicked out of the military. He finished his terms, honorable discharge. Okay. Second of all, Shanny, bitch, you are the one who got kicked out of boot camp after only three weeks because you couldn't control your behavior. So, next, next. And um, he couldn't t handle it. The shit they give him because they realize, too, that he's a fucking asshole. That's what I think. Projection. <laughs> Is it true you call your sons a burden? Hell no. They're not a burden. They're my babies. That is a lie. That, that is such a lie. She said they were financial burdens. Yeah. And that's also on a bunch of people's channels as well. I think her exact words were, go ahead, um, have them taken. It'll relieve me from my financial burdens. She straight up said that. Exactly, doctor. He wouldn't be getting VA benefits if he wasn't honorably discharged. Right. But she's an idiot and doesn't understand that. She still thinks that him getting the GI Bill is welfare. Right, right. So that's that's the uh, brain trust we're dealing with here. Fuck you. Why were you kicked out of the military? Because I have borderline personality disorder. That's why I'm untrainable. I can't be controlled. Who the fuck are you? I don't think that's why. No, no. no. And so let me just kind of briefly clear this up because people ask me about this all the time. The military did not diagnose her with borderline. What happened was she was causing so many problems. They had somebody sit with her for like 20, 30 minutes. And they're like, oh, uh, we think you have this. And they kicked her out. And so what she was supposed to have done is gone to a doctor and go through the lengthy process of being evaluated and they have to go through a process where they rule out other things and then they figure out what it ever is, what the fuck's going on with her. She was supposed to have done that. She never did. She then from there used that as an excuse to act out even further bad behavior and say, well, uh -huh, I'm borderline, so therefore I can just do whatever I want. 
And so she just used this, I we think you might have this as a shield to avoid criticism for her behavior. Subsequent um, medical and psychological evaluations, including ones as recent as like last year or the year before, where she was evaluated for, it was a, it was a court ordered evaluation. When they actually evaluated her, they said she didn't have it. It was a long list of things that she might have. And borderline was like a footnote at the bottom saying that she had some traits of borderline, but they weren't comfortable with actually diagnosing her with that. But you know what was at the top of the list? Uh, narcissism, histrionics, and a bunch of other stuff that she won't ever admit to. So that's the story. She has never actually been formally diagnosed with BPD, but she claims that she has it, just like she claims she has lupus and MS and all the other stuff that she claims that she has. She is a liar because she thinks that if she can find something to blame for her behavior, she doesn't have to take accountability for it. So that is the synopsis of that. And so it's just funny to me that she continually says that she has BPD and then says, I act like this because I have BPD. When I know for a fact, there's people in my chats who have BPD and they do not act, act like this. They have jobs, they have families, they, they don't use um, their, their struggles as an excuse to treat people like shit. So that's, that's the story behind that. Exactly, Katie. <laughs> yes, we're spending some Christmas with the boys, yeah. They're not. They didn't. <laughs> no, <clears throat> she literally said they went upstate New York, so I don't know why she's saying she's spending anything with the boys, because she didn't. I don't know. Like, I don't believe that they actually traveled. I think, okay, so as far as I know, the boys are still with the foster family. Because remember yesterday... She said that she was going to talk to them because Sundays are her days to talk to them. And she said um, that she was going to have a, like a video call with them. And they were, she said today that when they had that video call, that they were playing their video games in the foster family house. So they didn't go to upstate New York. And she's lying. She did not spend Christmas with them. She had a quick video call with them yesterday and that was it. Because she still will not take a drug test to go see them in person. Just asking Jesus, sorry. Hey, I am feisty. I, I, I don't have my fucking medication. I... We called this the we we're get it we have been waiting for two days for it to get delivered. I ran out of it two days ago. Why did you wait? Like like this this is one of those things. It's just like she can't even be responsible enough to notice, oh hey, I'm running low on my medication and there's a massive snowstorm coming to Pennsylvania where they are. Hmm. Maybe I should order some before I run out. Well, it's not even it. Like my pharmacy sends me a notification like, Hey, soonish, like you need to refill your medication. So like I'm an adult. So I, you know, refill it when it needs to be refilled. Not that hard. Right. Congratulations, you're an adult. <laughs> yeah, Buffalo is snowed in for sure. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, I don't even know how they would even get there because all the flights are canceled. Like, there's uh, so many flights to that part of the country that are canceled. Even now they're canceled because of all the snow and stuff. So it's like, I think she's just lying. I mean, why would they go to upstate New York? What is there for them? They don't know anybody there. Her parents are deceased. So it doesn't make any sense to me. We're waiting it for it to come, but who knows when it's fucking coming because it's fucking blizzarding goddamn outside. Don't 
Doesn't my other, she, like, the my other favorite thing that she like says that, is yeah. like <clears throat> that she's like, oh well, I didn't. They didn't take him for me. I gave I, I like gave them up willingly, whatever. And then she goes, I I have all per, like I have all control over my kids. Blah blah blah. I was like, you obviously don't, because you can't just go pick them up. Like you yeah, can't physically take them. So why do you think that you have a say over what your kids are doing? Because you don't. Yeah, like she has lost custody of her kids. And because she has not cooperated with the courts, nor CPS, nor anything else, like she has not done anything they have asked her to do. Because when you lose your kids, you get a checklist of stuff. And I know this because all these people that I review, they all seem to get their kids taken away. Shani, Vaughn, the list goes on. And every single time I have found out that they give you kind of like a a bullet point list of things that you have to get done in order to get your kids back. Well, she's done none of them. And I think in the state of Pennsylvania, because people were asking me about this, in the state of Pennsylvania and in a lot of states, after a 12-month period and you have not cooperated at all, they consider you abandoning the kids and you will lose permanent custody and then they're up for adoption. So that's what I'm rooting for, Shani, that she just continues to do what she's doing and then they get adopted out somewhere. That's what I would hope. Because they're not going to just keep them in foster care forever. Like eventually they're going to like completely take her parental rights away. No, she's like, she's like, like, uh I think she's okay with it right now because they're older and she's like, oh, I'll just see them when they're 18. That's how I see it. Is that she wait, she's going to wait till they're 18. I think that, hmm, I hope, I don't want to say I think, but I hope that her kids, because they're now living a completely different life, void of the abuse and everything else that she did to them, I'm hoping that between now and 18... Um, that they have enough time to understand what it is to live like loved and clean and healthy and able to like go to the dentist and school and stuff. And that when they do become 18 and they age out, they will say, you know what? Uh, she was abusive and I don't want anything to do with that. That's what I'm hoping. But I also think that there's a chance, especially the older one of being, um, more like her than, I don't know. I don't want to speak bad about him. I just, I hope the best for them. Um, but I, I also hope that when they turn 18, they distance themselves and put up major boundaries for her because she will try to ruin their life. You know, she's going to ask for money. She's going to be one of these, these moms that are going to continually mooch off for them. And, Oh, can I move in with you? Can I have money? Can you give me this? Like she's going to be a menace to them if they don't put their foot down. Yes, pray for them. They don't age out and move back. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That was weird. Um, I'm surprised she hasn't tried to put, like, a credit card in their name or try to put, like, you can, like, put, like, a, a bill in their name, like, the electricity. Even though they're young, you can still do it if you just have their social. That's I've heard a lot of fucked up stories about parents ruining their kids' credit before they even have credit. Wow. Before they I turn hope, 18. I really hope she hasn't done that. I don't know. I don't, I can't oh. say for sure. I don't think she actually knows she can do it yet. But right. If she knew, I feel like she would do it. Definitely. Oh, gosh. I think the best thing for them is just move on with their life, get to college and find something, a career or a job or something they want to do and just move on with their life and not allow her to bring them down because she absolutely will do that. No offense, man. But I cannot help being an irritable fucking cow right now, okay? I can't fucking help it. You're just going to have to deal with my irritability. Just think Girl. of it that I'm a woman who has really bad PMS. And here's the thing. She always has. PMS too. She always, always, <sighs> always is PMSing. Obviously, me and Burnt Toast are fucking women. We have periods. Very, we're very experienced in that fact, okay? Terrific. Um. I do not blame all my emotional fucking hormonal uh, issues on a f my fucking period. Okay? Right. That's not, not like, do, is our hormones, um, like, 
heightened during that time or before that time, yes. But it's it's like this weird thing called self control, where I don't just start cussing everybody out because I'm just you know aggravated. It seems like every time she does a rage like this, which is like once a week or every other day, it, she's having her period. She has a period like every day, every week. And then she'll turn around and be like, I'm going through menopause. Keep that Those two things. Nah, you can't have those two things at the same time. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm talking about this. Ugh. With the irritability withdrawals of Cymbalta, and and not only that, the fucking pain that comes from Cymbalta. So if I'm a little irritable, what? I apologize. I'm kind of going crazy. Wait, I thought she said Cymbalta is supposed to help her with pain. Now she's saying Cymbalta is causing her pain. And the last time I checked, I thought it was like a nerve drug, like for your nerves. They also said it's like something for diabetes, too. I wonder if that's why they gave it to her. Yeah, I mean, a lot a lot of these drugs happen to just have a bunch of different things they can use it for. But I've heard the diabetes one. Hmm. That that's interesting. So I wonder if they did diagnose her with diabetes and then thank you, a neuropathy from diabetes. And I wonder if they diagnosed her with that for real, for real. And they gave her the medication. Um, cause I, I, I actually think that she's having this pain in her legs and her feet and the swelling and all that. I think it's because she has diabetes and she's not cutting out the sugar like she's supposed to. Uh, Sepulta is for depression and anxiety, but off-label can be used to treat pain, express, express, especially lower back pain. Okay. Interesting. Who has the bigger hands, Drag or Shani? Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm okay. I'm curious. Hmm. I feel I want to say drag does, but like she has some pretty big fucking hands. Like, let's be honest here. I'm gonna do a poll because I'm curious. As Ron have proper grammar here. There we go. Okay, I'm curious. Who has bigger hands? <laughs> Diabetic neuropathy. Yeah, that I I suspect that that's what she's dealing with. Because a lot of the things that she talks about, the tingling and all at her extremities and all this stuff, it remind it, it makes me think of you know untreated diabetes. Do you guys need cigs? No. I should have a cig. That'll calm my ass down. <laughs> it's like her 10th one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Rev finally spoke up. He's like, oh, yeah. Calm her down. <laughs> <laughs> I know women like that, but don't act like this. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to rest. I, I have electricity season out of me like fucking Palpatine right now. Gross. I, I, He's so funny. <laughs> so gross. Her teeth look brown. Yeah, there's one on the left side of her mouth, upper tooth, that's about to fall out. That's why it's gray. Mm, lovely. Why is it gray? <laughs> There's a lot of things on her that's gray. Okay, it is one of the mysteries of the planet. I don't know. Cymbalta withdrawal is fucking real. <laughs> and they say 
it can last up to three fucking weeks. I want my fucking medicine, Nurse Ratchet. I want my medicine. Where's your cigarette, Keswick? <laughs> your damn cigarette. <laughs> Her teeth are hanging on by a root. Oh, bruh. Somebody said gray alien taco. Mmm. Gross. And now you see why people treat this way. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Diabetes can also explain her urinary incontinence. Oh, God. I didn't know. I didn't know about that. Wait, what? Gross. Somebody says diabetes can also explain her urinary incontinence. So wait, someone says something about her peeing. I have no idea what they're talking about. Did she I, pee? I don't. Apparently, Shani said the other day in one of her mini streams that she sometimes have incontinence. And she was blaming it on having kids. But I mean... See, like, no. I've heard, I've heard of it when people have kids. Sometimes they like, if they like sneeze, they pee a little bit. You know what I mean? Not like just piss themselves. I've heard of that. Um, but imagine how much weight is on her bladder. That's true. Also, I'm um, I I oh, kitty cat. You can't jump on me, mommy. Filming in progress. Mommy is trying to stream. Please, <laughs> please. Um, Tracy says it takes two and a half days for Cymbalta to completely leave your system and any real withdrawal symptoms to kick in. Ah, so, yeah, so what she's saying doesn't really make sense. Gotcha. Tell those kitty cats. Filming in progress. You hear that, dog? You're a hear financial me? burden. <laughs> you hear me, puppy? Filming in progress. He was asleep. He's looking at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> I tried to I tried to explain myself, but you're continuing to be an ass. Just go. If I bother you so bad, go. Yeah, piss on the couch. Fuck yeah, ferret. You know that song that Miss Parker plays? I'm gonna piss on the floor. I wanna hear somebody do a remix of her. I'm gonna piss on the couch. <laughs> Yo, you, 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 you're a liar once again, Simbalta doesn't work like that. Everyone Google and put down the fucking withdrawal side effects of fucking Simbalta. The first thing it says is irritability. So fuck you! Wow. I love when she does that. Fuck you. Like, she does it with all her chest. Fuck like, you. Fuck you. Love it. Full Annie? Who's Annie? Who's Annie? <laughs> right? What is her excuse before the Cymbalta? Right. Where is Rev? How is he? He's giggling like a schoolgirl. You're funny. <laughs> he doesn't want to get beat. He enjoys the show like everybody else. He doesn't want to get beat, so he's sitting on another couch, keeping his mouth shut. That's what's happening. You're like a female. I have been at Zimbabwe for many years. I take them once per day. Just use for the regime. <laughs> It doesn't act that way. Bullshit. You're lying. You're a liar. You're a liar. It doesn't work that way. You're a liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire, liars. Fucking pants on fire. I've never noticed this before, but notice how when she says liar, her mouth does this weird downturn like an old person. I'm not trying to be rude. But... <clears throat> like a catfish. Yeah, look at her mouth. It doesn't act that way. Bullshit. You're lying. You're a liar. You're a liar. It doesn't work that way. You're a liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire, liars. Fucking pants on fire. 
Oh my god. Honestly, she acts like and it's so funny cuz there are people who actually use this drug. Obviously, I don't I have don't know anything about it. Um but if someone's using it in there like saying, "Hey, yeah, blah blah blah." She'd be like, "Nope. Sorry, you're wrong." Wrong. Mm, not listening. Not listening. I can't see you. Uh, Jet Harper, thank you so much. Uh, please stop saying it takes more than one day. I have been through hell just missing one dose. I have been on it for five years as an add-on to my anxiety meds. This is her being crazy, not just withdrawal. Please stop. Yes, I agree with you. This is clearly her just being Shani. Like, this is the real Shani. This is not medication. This is not a uh, BPD. This is not lupus or any of the other things that she claims that she has. Spot on, Jet. Like, this is her just being a jerk. I just flat out. So, yeah, don't, I don't want to give the impression that, um, that I'm saying that this is her withdrawing because, no, there's no excuse for this kind of behavior. And this is Shani being Shani, period. I, I challenge anyone to Google the side effects of withdrawals from Cymbalta. <laughs> oh. I challenge you. This is, an is your balls big enough to do it? Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Jet. This is an educational joke. <laughs> it's her crinkle heart. <laughs> it's my crinkle heart. <laughs> I'm having a goddamn hot flash. Fuck my ass. In the fucking <laughs> what was that? Oh God! <sighs> Gross! <laughs> Get off me! <sighs> Remember when she said she was gonna sue the police in Colorado because she couldn't move her arms like that anymore? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, boy. Oh, you challenge me to go outside and touch grass? You are a piece of shit. You damn well know it's <laughs> snowy as fucking hell outside. There is no grass. It's all fucking white. It's all fucking white. Your favorite. Ooh, screenshot. Uh, Johnny says at least she doesn't live in an apartment what? anymore where she can disturb the neighbors. That's true. When you see the job application. <laughs> When the uncle walks back into the house. When you find out Rev ate all the Twinkies. <clears throat> when you find out the cats ate your sandwich. Bro. When you find out the kids ate and you didn't. <laughs> when you find out people actually have lives outside of uh, YouTube. When you find out all these people are making money off of you and you can't even... Support yourself. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Yeah, that, that is definitely the last face. Uh, whatever food she eats, sees. Yep. Oof. <laughs> but ferret, it's good TV to watch. There's that. <laughs> like, for real. Like, her arms... Okay. I'm calling bullshit on the fact that she says that she's not only not gained weight, but that she's lost weight. Her arms are considerably... Her upper arms are considerably larger than they were just six months ago. Ooh. So, not buying it, Shani. Not buying it. I don't withdraw because I keep up with them. Well, I'm waiting on the fucking delivery service that's been fucking delayed. So fuck me. What do you want me to fucking do, Godspeed, stupid bitch? <laughs> She's so lovely, guys. She never talks to people with a bad attitude. She's never nope. mean. No. Nope. No. No. She never attacks people. She never does anything to nothing to nobody. Uh, isolationist, thank you so much. Uh, he says, I told him Delta 8 triggers my anxiety and Rev didn't like that. Whoop. 
Yeah, I've heard a couple of people say that um, they can use Delta 8, and then other people said that they, when they use it, it actually triggers our anxiety. Um, yeah, so it's it's funny how they don't want to listen to people uh, <laughs> poke holes in their stories. What's Rev's channel? Revelation News TV. He's a good boy. I'm a boy. <laughs> you liar, Dean. Cymbalta side effects. No, Cymbalta withdrawal side effects. Be intellectually honest. Damn. I know Rev is over there just taking cover every time she screams. Yeah. He's flinching. Mm-hmm. Like his, his butthole was like... <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's like, please let her yell at the screen and not me. Yeah, honey, you're right, honey. Yeah, but I'm glad that they're not in a, an apartment, like somebody said earlier. Um, at least they're not disturbing other families by doing this nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Fine, you stupid motherfucker. You stupid motherfucker. Stupid <laughs> motherfucker. Fine, I'll prove your stupid motherfucker wrong right now. Stupid motherfucker you wrong right now. Do that shit to me. Be like, you're, so you're, 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 you're a fucking liar. Fuck you. I am not a liar. You're an idiot. Fuck you. Fuck your you're mother. You're a dishonest idiot. You're so Ron. Ron. So Ron. She the female Cartman. Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Which was funny. Is it this one? Ha ha. No, that's the Swift. No, I can change it. Ah. All right. She's such Window an connection. expert, guys. Expert streamer. What does that say? Okay. What did this say, stupid motherfucker? <laughs> what was the first thing he said for withdrawal symptoms from Cymbalta, Mr. Stupid Motherfucker? Does she even have an ashtray for her cigarettes? Uh, it's called the flow. She puts everything on the floor. There was one stream they did today where she... Switch the camera around to show the cats. And I think it was Gavin was sitting on the carpet. And there were crumbs and ashes and dust. And ugh, it was so gross. Like, they just leave stuff on the floor. Like, they're absolutely trash in that house. She deserves nothing less than misery and destitute. Well, that's kind now, of what she has. Yep. Is everything I'm saying a fucking lie? <laughs> 48 fucking hours. Oh, my gosh. That is a great. Oh, dead Jason Todd. She puts out her cigarettes on the remains of Rev's dignity. That is my favorite comment of the night. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's great. Ow, fuck. There. There. Pretty much. Pretty much, Dean. I'm still lying. I just proved you wrong, stupid motherfucker. You're just an invalidator, Dean. You're just an invalidator, sir. You're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah, you should be sorry to say I'm a liar. Liar. Wow. 
No shit brings apps. Now, do you think, do you think anyone would be fucking normal when they're withdrawing from something because the fucking delivery service woke uh, how long has she been on Sepulta? I'm not exactly sure, but it has not been very long. Um, I don't know if she started using it when they were in the motel, but it certainly has not been more than a year. It's been less than a year. Oh, do delivery, Shani. You'll get it, I swear. You still have it in your system. No hate, just honesty. Oh my God, do I have the the amount that I need in my system? Damn, she's so loud. Oh. Do we know why she doesn't pronounce the G's? Um, hmm. The non-sarcastic answer would be, I think that she's lazy. And she just got in the habit of just pronouncing words in a lazy way. And so she mispronounces stuff all the time. Also, she is a moron. So she doesn't even know what words mean, much less know how to pronounce them. Also, if you want my sarcastic answer, I would say she saves her G's for a special word that she likes to yell at people of color, if you get what I'm saying. Thank you, Joseph Mall. Thank you for the super sticker. She's saving them up. <clears throat> this is why I hate pharmaceuticals. Because the withdrawals are horrible. But here's the thing. With meloxicam, there is no withdrawal symptoms. So that's fine. It it's just, just came out. Fucking, you know. <laughs> right, Alabas? During a fucking blizzard when my whole body's like... Fuck me. Am I mad? You're mad at us? Do you know the difference between being mad and being irritable? Do you know the difference? Do you? Do you? No, you don't. Because you went to, I, I guarantee, a really bad public education that taught you feelings because you can't evaluate feelings yourself because you're probably a sociopathic narcissist who can't actually feel what actually being mad is. Because if you can't tell the difference of irritability and me being actually mad, have you actually seen me being mad at you? No, you didn't. You see me being irritable at you. Wow, guys, she's totally not mad. Okay. Wow, okay. There's a big difference. Right, exactly, Katie. Says the woman who never even finished high school. Girl, bye. If you treat me with a little respect and stop invalidating me, maybe I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to throw you with some fucking badass negative energy so you learn how to treat people with goddamn fucking respect and learn some fucking coof. How long has Shani been on the internet? Long time. Like, she's been on YouTube like 10 years. And she was on Google Plus for a number of years prior to that. She is, in my opinion, she's like addicted to streaming. I don't give a fuck. Todd, 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 you perverted ass old man <laughs> I forgot coming on to all this. the young girls on freaking wow <laughs> while you're married. Go away, Todd. None of that is true, by the way. I don't know where she's getting that from, but Todd. Well, I've literally never seen Todd hit on anybody. I've, I've never seen that either. So nobody wants you here, Todd. Todd, no, Aries, I am not taking a chill pill. I can't take my chill pill. 
If I could get my chill pill, I would be chill. Yikes, I thought you said you weren't mad. <laughs> You'll buy me a pizza with a bunch of fucking jalapenos on it. I guarantee it. Aw, is she mad? Still mad about And we're going to throw that shit in the garbage. We oh, are not going to abuse our stomachs for you anymore. <laughs> but she ate it anyway. Uh, J-Dubs, J-W Designs, member for 12 months. Thank you so much. Shani, Big Jelly, Todd, don't want her. Yikes. Yeah, blame Todd. It's all Todd's fault. I'm done. Thank you, Tippy. I like this shirt very much, too. Yeah, dude. This is proof that I was one of the contributing members for the reestablishment of Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's a t-shirt, Channy. Like, you probably bought it online. What are you talking about? So, you're welcome that I brought this beautiful series back to Netflix. Girl, what? Okay, that's a new one. Apparently, Shani brought Mystery Science Theater 3000 to Netflix. Um, thank you, Yami. You have a good night. <laughs> wow, uh, that's a new one for me. I haven't heard her say that before. Wow, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Where did your 700 grand go? It went to bring back Mystery Science Theater 3000. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's right. What? So you're welcome. Yeah, Netflix totally called Shani and was like, yo, should we put this back on Netflix? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. <laughs> totally what happened. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, she got it at Goodwill for real. I bet you it's one of the t-shirts that G-Man found her. Here's Shani, no, wear I'm this. No, I'm curious who these young women... I'm not calling out names so you can fucking harass them, asshole, you fucking <laughs> freak. Hashtag blame Todd. Thanks for bringing back the show. Shani, that was a troll. Okay. Like, she's so stupid. How fucking rude. I am bored with a troll you. I offered you a pizza and you cussed me out. Because I guarantee it's a jalapeno pizza. Oh. Aw. <laughs> You're literally named Foods Beggin. <laughs> That's a great name. Prove me wrong. There's something wrong with my thumb. Uh, yeah, it's really dirty. Uh -huh, yeah, I love the new story about the eviction being faked by drag and the trolls. The letter was fake and there was never really eviction. Right? That threw me for a loop. I was like, no, she did not. That was hilarious. Like, yeah, she I must actually wrote it. So. I typed it up, actually. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's the eviction ninjas. Yeah, oh, Jules did that. Yeah. Don't totally. tell nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh. The stuff that she forgets. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you, Johnny. She'll eat anything but spicy foods. Pretty white. <laughs> hey, hey, don't talk about my people like that. <laughs> Let me look at the um poll. Oh, 88% said drag has the smaller hands. Oh, oh damn. no. Got him. Got him. You're going to make Drag insecure about his small hands. You're insecure. Don't know <laughs> what for. Sorry, I love that people way. think she has bigger hands. I love that for her. She has some pretty big hands, though. She I does. think she can, like, palm uh, Jason's head. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah. 
the fucking Ew. Nintendo 64 controller fucking dented both of them. What? Like forever there is a dent. That I don't what? think that's what that's from. I think that's just like you're just flexible. Right. Like it's what? Girl, what is she talking about? Like that's a normal okay. Okay, girl. That is from the N64 control. So yes, there is something wrong with my goddamn thumb. Ron. What is that? Like who I don't understand why is she saying I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get the the leapfrog gymnastics where she went from talking about mystery science theater to look Nintendo 64 put a dent in my thumb. I don't understand why that was brought up. Am I missing something? I don't I don't know either. I was I'm gonna be real honest, I did not pay attention to anything she said before that. <laughs> kind of zoned out. <laughs> oh my goodness. No blame you. <laughs> you game too hard? Correct shape shifting monkey. I did. That's kind of hot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was it was on it was on Star Fox sixty four and and Mario Party. Jules saying I might be Ron. You know what? There have been times in my real life where I have said Shannyisms. And people look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, oh, I got to say the G's again. But I'll be like, oh, that's so Ron. And people will be like, what? What did you say? I'm like, oh, sorry. No, it was a joke. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Insane. Ron. Yep. No, Theo, I don't. Todd, please. You know you're lying, so it doesn't even mean <laughs> anything. I know you're lying. You know you're lying. lying. So why even try to defend yourself at this point? Oh wait, you're trying to you're trying to do this with other women. I think you're protesting too hard, man. That's uh, that's not how you say that, Shani. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you're protesting too hard, girl. That is not how you say that. Yes, I will say folks, and I will say uh, all of the things or stuff and things. Yeah, I say that, or stuff and things. Now, I will say crazy stuff in the house, and my husband just laughs at me and looks like I'm crazy, because I tell him about all this stuff, and he just thinks it's funny. But, like, I got to I gotta be careful, because when I'm, like, outside of my household, like, at work and stuff, I don't want people to think that I'm stupid, because I'm repeating something she said, so... Just saying, you're making it weird, weirder and weirder, but continue on. They know who they are. I know who they are, and you know who they are, but I ain't saying names so you can harass them. So keep trying, weirdo. Jalapenos are supposed to be good food for weight loss, pain, improved heart health, and lower ulcer risk. <laughs> the jalapenos. Yeah, okay, stupid. Hey. Actually, I have heard that. That there are uh, certain spicy foods that will help um, jumpstart weight loss and get your metabolism going. I have heard that. So. I hear it. I haven't heard. I mean, I haven't heard it about that, but that's not shocking. But I have heard it about when you um, spicy foods for like a cold or some shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> There's nothing you could do. I got to get my medicine. There's nothing I can do. Ew. I hope so.
Oh my God, I don't give a fuck of Mrs. D. I already fucking said what I needed to say. It wasn't meant we're going to go back and forth. <laughs> I was venting to the stupid motherfucker. Does he get it? Does he get that I want nothing to do with his stupid fucking ass? He still doesn't fucking get it, does he? <laughs> so that is all that I clipped from that stream because I knew that it would be um, it'd be long. But that that stream was like, like 12 hours or 10 hours. Like it was insane. Um, but I'll go ahead and stop there because we're coming up on the two and a half hour mark. Um, that's right. It was cayenne pepper and vinegar shots help jumpstart weight loss. At least it worked for me. Yeah. See, that's what I've heard. Um, cayenne pepper and stuff. But yeah, Shani will call you a liar if you say that. <laughs> uh, please do BHB next time. Yes. I actually saw all the stuff that went down today. And it was after I had already planned the stream out and everything. So, yes, my next stream will be Bullhorn Betty and that whole thing for sure. Yep. Yeehaw. Thank you, Gray One. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm still getting over my cold. That's why I sound kind of weird. But I was happy to do a stream. And I'm so happy that all you guys showed up. I have missed you guys. Hope you had a great Christmas. Hope you guys have a great new year, although I will probably stream before that. Um, uh, Jules, did you have any final words of Yoshiisms? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> keep a job. Don't be broke. Wow. So profound. Yeah, thanks. And Merry yeah. Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for all the people who became members and who donated. You do not have to, um, but I appreciate those that do. And uh, I will see you guys. Um, I'm hoping to do more streams this week, like I said. Um, guys, have a great night. And I'm going to play you out with a song uh, later. Dudes, how you doing? I, I sometimes have a problem with saying stuff before I think about it. I, 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 <laughs> I feel like fucking Ken, you know, he is the chain breaker, breaker, breaker. Well, he should be flat earth flattering you, get flat earth in you. Perfect. Cat piss, breaker, breaker, breaker. Cat piss, breaker, breaker, breaker. Break up, break up, break up, and, and fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful cocksucker. Dog is beautiful. Oh. I, 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 I. Ah. Cat piss. Break up, break up, break up. And fucking give me money. Ah! Cat piss. Break up. Break up. Break up. <laughs> the bra. And I smelled them. I did. Oh. And fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful cocksucker. Sorry, it's beautiful. Oh. Ah! Cat piss. Break up. Break up. Break up. Fucking give me money. Ah! Cat piss. Break up. Break up, break up, but, and fucking give me money. The bra, and I smell them. I did. <laughs> when you can, when you can wear one part of my bra as a hat. Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up, but, and fucking give me money. Ah! Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up. Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up, but, and fucking give me money. Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up, but, and fucking give me money. Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up, but, and fucking give me money. 
I, I tap this. Break up. Break up. Break up. And fucking give me money. The bra. And I smelt them. I did. And fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful cocksucker. Sorry, it's beautiful. Oh. That's a fucking beautiful cocksucker. <laughs>